Hi everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I wanted to do a quick garden haul so I could start using up all my stuff. I think I'm going to start doing bonus videos. Like I want, I'm trying to get my upload schedule kind of in order for the new year. I think I want to upload on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. And then on Saturdays, I can have like little bonus videos and things that I can do throughout the month if I so choose or if I have any type of uh, product reviews or anything like that I need to do. I think I might do those on Saturday. So those will be my bonus videos. So this is a bonus video y'all gonna see on a Saturday. But guys, this is gonna be a good garden haul. It's gonna be some things that you may not have thought of, okay? So definitely, definitely stay tuned. And ooh, ooh, I want to show y'all something. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to show y'all this um, box that I got from Walmart. I seen it last year and I knew I wanted it. I said, I'm going to put it in my budget for the new year. Every year I write a budget that I want, things that I want to get that may be outside of my budget for the current year. So I add it to the list for next year. Um, case in point, I need a cart like a garden cart so I can pull things around because the cart that I have is on its last, last, last leg. But I didn't add it to the list for this year. So I don't want to go trying to create and spending extra money. I just want to stick to the budgets that I've created for myself. So a cart is going to be on the list for next year. So that green cart that I have is going to just have to ride it out, ride it out. But let's go ahead and get into the video let's, let's get into the video honey because i got some good stuff good stuff but let me show y'all this shirt i got i ordered a couple shirts now because i don't want to use my good clothes coming out into the garden i found that i've messed up a lot of clothes being in this garden so i want to have items specifically that i'm going to wear when i'm going out in the garden and i don't want it to be too much but i thought this shirt was cute y'all it's a gardening is therapy and i got it in a cute green color a green color they also had this pink color that i wanted to get but i didn't know if i wanted but i definitely got the green i wanted to make sure i could fit it this is a extra large i should have gotten a large i should have gotten a large this is a little too big but i'm not gonna turn it in um i'm not gonna send it back i'm just gonna keep it and then if i want to get the pink then i may it's in my cart you know you start a cart and it's sitting there until you get ready to pay for it. Put it in, put it in, pull it out, put it in. So I got that shirt. Let's stay with the theme of clothes. I also got these other shirts. Guys, I really like these. When I tell you they feel good, I've already worn one. I didn't wear it outside. I just put it on to try it and then I ended up wearing it. But I got a white one, a pink one, and a blue one. So it's a collar shirt. It could be a long sleeve shirt or you could um, turn it into a three fourth sleeve. Let's see, let me open the little pocket here. They have a little, <sighs> where you could turn it into a three fourth sleeve here and just tie that. But these is supposed to protect your skin from the sun. They're like UV ray protection shirts. And it's also a dry sweat shirt. So you know when we're in the garden, we're sweating and we just, you just feel icky. So if this captures some sweat, it'll dry it right on up. And then I just take it off, put it in a washer. So I got it in blue. I also have it in white and I have it in this pink color. Let's look at the pink one. I don't know if they came with a different design because one of them came from somewhere else. Somewhere, somewhere else. Uh, this is a pink one. I hope nobody wore it because it was all wrapped up differently and open. But this is the pink one, baby. Uh, iron need to be put on that. I'm gonna wash these. But those are the shirts. But let me let me get my trash can because I got a nice little trash pile starting. Can. I'm in my office, y'all. I'm in my office. So the next thing I got for the garden, we staying in the theme of clothes. Baby, your girl got a hat, honey. Honey, on them days, <laughs> check me out. <laughs> on those days where you know what, you ain't got nothing to do with your hair, throw that hat on. It got the little hook in the back. You want to make a ponytail. I, I tried to do a ponytail the other day. My husband said, what, what kind of look are you going for? Baby, them braids couldn't fit. But 
you can wear your hat however you want to wear it. like this no not like that but this was so cute y'all garden hair and it say guard garden hair don't care baby i like my hat i might just keep my hat on you know it'd be hard when you got these big old braids and stuff i'm gonna rock my hat the rest of the video okay the next thing i got i don't think i have any more clothing items yeah that's it and then i'm just gonna wear my sweats my little tights out in the garden because i like to be comfortable i like things where i can stretch and move and stuff like that but the next thing that i got is a indoor outdoor a soil thermometer guys i needed this really really bad especially at the beginning of spring you're trying to start seeds so this is going to be really helpful and i got just a basic one one you just put in the soil leave it in there for five minutes and then you come back and check it so this is going to be good if you start starting seeds sometimes we can start those seeds outdoors which i'm going to be starting a lot of seeds outdoors um i'm not going to be starting a lot of them indoors because i only have two rows where i can do seed starting so a lot of things like my peas my corn uh beans uh spinach stuff like that i'm just gonna start outdoors <clears throat> but i'm gonna check the soil level because even though it may be like 70 75 degrees outside the soil may be cooler so i definitely want to do that gardening the right way okay the next one i got this is a uh, ph and a soil moisture i purchased this so this is going to tell you the ph level of your soil and the moisture so I need to keep up with this. I specifically wanted this for my blueberries um, to check the uh, pH level for. So I got that. What else did I get? Oh, hold on, y'all. This was so cute. <laughs> did I need this? No. Did I want it? Yes. Bam. I got me a mug, honey. It's a gardener of the year. Cause honey, if you don't if you don't give yourself a trophy, who gonna give it to you? <laughs> Baby, this is just too cute. Check me out. Gardener of the year. All right. And then look at the little stirrer. It's a shovel. Let me do like the makeup girls do. It's a little shovel. Isn't that the cutest thing you ever see? Oh my goodness. Honey. Baby. Gardener of the year. <laughs> I'm be out doing my garden talks. I don't know when y'all, but when I go outside, I'll be drinking. I'm not going to be drinking no coffee. I'm not really a coffee drinker, but I do drink tea. So bam, that's what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and throw this box away while I'm at it. All right. And then I found these. This is just too cute. Okay. Did I need these? No. Did I want them? Yes. I found this at like TJ Maxx or something like that, or a Marshalls, but they had a little pad and it say a little list. So I really have been using this, like writing down my little garden list and stuff. I'm gonna put that in my little pocket, take it on the outside with me. Okay, the next one I got, of course, I got some grow bags, okay? I'm gonna try to grow my potatoes in these grow bags this year. And they have a little window on the front. I'm not sure if I'll be able to see the potatoes through the window, but I just decided to get some grow bags and these were really affordable. Um, you get four for like $15, but everything that I am showing you guys, I'm going to have it down in the description box below. Now this one, honey, this, 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 this right here, it may not seem like it's gardening related, but y'all, this is a, a label maker. Okay. When I'm out there mixing all these concoctions, I need to know what I'm mixing, what's in these bottles that I'm putting together because right now, out in the garden, I know I mixed some copper fungicide. That's blue, so I know what it is. But there's two more, two gallon uh, of those little pump sprayers. I have no idea what's in them. Absolutely no idea. I mixed some neem oil and I mixed the, um, uh, it's some spray for the tree. So I went ahead and got a label maker, honey. I feel like this is going to be a game changer. This is going to be a game changer if I could get it out of the box. And it was really cute. I wanted to get a small, compact one. Maybe. I don't want to tear the box up just in case something is wrong with it. But, dang, I can't get it out of the box, you know? Uh, honey. 
put this in here. Who packed this? The struggle is real. Well, this is the case for it, okay? I, I also ordered a case because it came with some additional tape. Uh-uh, y'all. I... Oh, Lord. Ooh, Chile. But this is the label maker that I got. Ooh, 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 ooh. Doo, doo. So that's the label maker. So when I'm out there mixing different things, I'm going to put a label on it because I was like, I don't even know how I'm going to identify what has been used. But this was a great deal. I must say it came with the actual label maker and it came with four tapes. Okay, this was a good deal that I got online. So I can't wait to use these. I'm gonna go ahead and pack them on up right now. And I'm gonna put one of the tapes in and we're gonna be good to go. So you have a little space where you can put the extra tape over here and then put this one in. I don't know how to do that just yet. So let's put this to the side until I figure out how to use it. But this is gonna be trash, but let me put this over here. All right, so bam, honey, key, key. This is, I think this is pretty cool to have. I mean, you can use it for other areas, but I specifically needed it for the garden, okay? Because sometimes you can write on it with a marker, but all the water we be using and it faded off, it faded off. All right, so the next thing that I got for the garden is I got some water soluble fertilizer. What I'm gonna start doing, and this is, is a mix specifically for uh, Southern agriculture. So what I wanna start doing is getting fertilizer, plants and things that's specific for not just my zone, but for my area. So, and I like the water soluble fertilizer. I like that it can instantly go down into the plants instead of having to be um, broken down, instead of being broken down over time. So I went ahead and got that. And I think this is going to, this has some really excellent reviews. Um, it was created by Southern Agriculture. And it is for flowers, roses, vegetables, shrubs, trees, lawns, houseplants, baby, uh, all in one. You know, so I won't have to be buying, like I have a lot of fertilizer that I found on sale. It's tomato, citrus, this, that, that. Baby, this is all in one. You know, I'm supposed to be doing all that extra stuff this year, honey. You're not overcomplicating this year. And then... And then I got some heirloom seeds. Um, this is Texas wildflower seed pack. So I bought some wildflower seeds that I can just sprinkle. I'm not gonna sprinkle in the garden because a lot of these are perennials, but I am going to go ahead and put them in some flower pots so that I can have some wildflowers. And I specifically got this because I wanted to be able to attract some pollinators to the garden. So this is gonna be key. Oh, this is gonna be so nice. And they're supposed to be easy to grow. They have a high germination rate and it's over 22 varieties of different flower seeds. Like you have bluebells, um, daisies, sunflower, cosmos, wildflower. So I can't wait to put, sprinkle some of these in the flower pot for the new year. All right, I bought me some tools, y'all. Last year, I used a tool by Garden Weasel and that tool was just amazing. So I went ahead and ordered me some more tools by Garden Weasel. Honey, these tools are so sturdy. I, I just, I absolutely love them. I love them. I'm trying to look and see where my garden bag is so I can show y'all the tool that I originally had that made me want to order these extra tools. Let me grab it. Garden bag. So it was this one. Honey, this tube right here need to be cleaned. But, baby, check it out. This tube is so sturdy. <laughs> I was like, and I just love the way it feels in my hand. You know what I mean? I have some more tools, but they're not as sturdy. And I have broken some things out there because on the wall where we grow our corn, that soil is so tough and compacted that, baby, this you stick this down in there and twist it. 
it's a wrap. So I went ahead and got their other tools. It's nothing like having some good tools in the garden. So I got those. I did go ahead and buy me one more pair of pruners. Okay, I got the Corona. This is the, I know it's a comfort grip. It's an ergonomic grip, but I like the way these feel in my hands. I don't have too many um, things that I have to prune that's gonna be more than uh, three fourths inches around in diameter. So I went ahead and got me some more pruners. I do need to clean the ones that I have. I have multiple pairs of Corona pruners that I've left out in the garden, but this year we're gonna do better but until I clean those, I wanted to have a fresh, clean pair to start the garden season off with. I did see you can put some sand in a bucket with a little bit of oil, and that's supposed to keep your tools clean. You can just stick it in there. So I might try to do that this year. I might make me some of that. Also, I got me some more seed packs. I'm going to be saving, trying to save some of my seeds this year. I'm going to start. So I went ahead and ordered these. Not only because I'm going to save seeds, but because sometimes when I order seeds um, from places, they come in like little bitty plastic baggies. And when I put them in my seed box, it falls to the bottom. So I wanted something that it could stand up, um, that the seeds can stand up in. Okay. So I went ahead and ordered those. Oh, let's check it out. Baby, I ordered, I purchased some onions from Home Depot and asked me what the name of these onions are. Don't know. I know I got the white, some white onions and I need to get these planted. I got some red ones and then I know this is the, I believe this is the Georgia onion. I think that's the Georgia onion. I'm not. 100% sure, but I purchased that. And then I have some seeds, some potato seeds. Yeah, I got some potato seeds. I have the Norland Reds. I got two of the Norland Reds. I have two of the blended ones. And then these, I went ahead and opened them and put them in the box. These are the Yukon Gold. So I got two of the Yukon Golds and I purchased those from Home Depot. So I need to go ahead and get those planted now that I have the gourds. And then I just went ahead and got some seeds started mixed just because. So I got this one and I also got the jiffy. I couldn't remember. I think I like this one better to be honest. This one is um, the organic one and has more of the cocoa core in it. And this one is has the peat moss in it. I believe both of them have peat moss, but the Jiffy has more of the cocoa core. And I also purchased, I need a, a tray to mix my soil in because I'm gonna be mixing a lot of it on the counter because it's been raining outside a lot and it's really wet out there. So I haven't been out in the garden as much as I've wanted to. Like I wanted to go back there and do some videos and start my seeds and things, but it's just been raining and it's wet and it's cold. So I don't wanna go back there. But, so I went ahead and bought a tray that I can mix all of my soil in on the counter. And I'm just going to put a, um, a tablecloth down when I mix my seeds. So let me put that on there. Cause I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start some seeds today, y'all. I'm gonna start my seeds. And then what else did I buy? Getting down to the end. Baby, y'all can't see what's in here. I'm gonna have to put a picture on screen. But I bought a, a stand. It's like a three-tiered stand that you can put plants on. I purchased that because I'm also going to be starting some dahlia seeds soon. Well, not seeds, but the tubers soon. Um, I ordered me some, so they should be coming in the mail. So I needed something to put them on because last year I started 12 dahlia tube, tubers and I didn't get any dahlias. And that's because I had them sitting on the ground and all type of little, uh, you know, not pests, but whatever. They were, the little pests or whatever was eating my tubers. So <laughs> I'm not gonna sit them on the ground this year. I'm gonna have them sitting on a stand and it's a three tiered stand. So I'll be able to see them grow. Is that all I have? Yep, yeah, that is it. Oh. Well, that's all that's in this room. I want to show y'all this cool, cool gadget 
no it's not a gadget it's a box let me show y'all this box so i gotta go in the living room because it's in the living room and i didn't want to bring it back here so let's go and do that okay so before i show y'all my cool gadget this is one of the reasons why i needed it we have a tool bag in here that i'm always going in that i need to get stuff out of and then it, it gets heavy because they have all these tools in here and i don't like picking up heavy things anymore even though i can i really don't like picking up heavy items i hurt my back out there in that garden last year so i just decided that i do not want to pick up this heavy stuff so i'm just gonna drag this right on in the living room y'all you close this button down. i mean this i'm just gonna drag it right on in the living room y'all <laughs> bear with me bear with me okay all right y'all we done made it to the living room okay all right let's get set up and show y'all my gadget okay i'm back i got my gadget over here y'all i'm look honey Whew, i'm so proud of this gadget oh man i left my water y'all i left my water i'm running out of breath mm. it's not a stanley y'all i ain't got nothing against stanley this stanley cousin reduced <laughs> oh, the cheaper version <laughs> But I needed something. We have a craft box. Let me back up so y'all can see. We have a craft box that we put all of our tape, light bulbs, screws, nails, all kind of stuff in here. And anytime I need something out of the craft box, I'm like, Jay, go in the shed and get the craft box. Or when we need a tool. I gotta go dig through the box in the washroom and get the tool. I seen this gadget over here last year, y'all. <laughs> last year at Walmart. And I said, oh, I wanna get this. I have to get it. So I put it on my list to get for 2024. And honey, I did just that. I did just that. Baby, I gotta get up to get it so y'all can see. Voila! It's on wheels too, baby. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Honey, check it out. So this is, what is this called? I don't know what it's called. Let's check it out. I wanna show y'all, it's so neat. I can put my tools in there. I can put all of our material in there. We won't be having to go to two different places to get nails and then a hammer in the toolbox. Everything can be in one. This here is the Heart Stackable Modular Storage System. It's a 21 inch cart, 21 inch toolbox, and 21 inch organizer. It's a power tool case, a two drawer tool case, a three piece organizer set, and then a 10 inch compact organizer. Baby, honey, get you one of these. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. And then it's on wheels. So I don't need to call my husband. I don't have to call my son. I could just go and get it myself. I ain't gotta call him. I don't gotta call y'all no more. I ain't gotta call y'all. Look, when you get that rolling, park it in this spot, put it down. Bam, pull it back up. Okay, let's take a look. Each compartment is sealed on there. So it's three different levels. Let me try to remember how to take it off. So I think you unsnap it here. Uh, okay, and then you pull this out. And bam, this is the first level. So I can put all my little screws and nails and stuff in there. Honey, this would be a good gift for yourself or a good Father's Day gift uh, for your husband for your boyfriend for your son your baby daddy whoever y'all this is so neat check it out look at all these little compartments in there and you can take them out and rearrange them in whatever way you want but oh, man this is so neat oh my goodness this is so well this is so neat i just had to have it y'all and I couldn't wait till the new year started so I can go and get it. So I got that. 
lock it back up. This is the second level. So you unhook them and then there's these levers you have to pull out and then you can take them off. This have a handle. You can open that handle up. I probably should have kept it on. So it's like that and you unlock it like this. So I'm assuming this is like the toolbox portion. But check that out. On the inside, you got a little compartment. You can put your tools right on in there. Honey, honey. <laughs> Wait, what? I, baby, I am just too happy about this. I, I think I like this more than I like makeup. About that one. It's a nice little gift. Honey, I'm just so happy about that. And then here is the last one. This one is attached to the wheel. You can't untach this one, I don't believe. You can if you unscrew it, but baby, this is where I'm going to put all our tape and stuff on the inside. Oh my goodness, and it's very deep, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm just so happy about that. So, y'all, your girl is happy. That's just, I just want to say I'm happy. This is like the find of 2024 for me, like. Well, let's just say of January. <laughs> That's the fine of January. Baby, I'm feeling myself in this hat. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Y'all check it out. Gordon, Gordon, uh, Gordon hat don't care. But that is all I have. And baby, you know I got me a water jug. I'm on a fitness kit. Uh at the job, they're gonna start this. Um, we're doing a 30-day health and wellness challenge at the job. And it starts on February 12th. So I got me a water container. This water container is 50 ounces. So if I drink two of these a day, I can meet my water consumption. Um, plus I need it for the yard. I wanted me to have some cold water. I did have some more, but I, I like water. I, I, I like water containers. So I told JJ that we gonna have a garage sale um, one day, one weekend in February. We can have a garage sale and get rid of a lot of these other bottles and cups and things that we have. But that is it. That's all I have for you all on today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.